प्रथम चरण का कोर बूस्ट था इसकी पुष्टि हो चुकी नाइन एट सेवन सिक्स फाइव फोर थ्री टू वन जीरो ऑल एल फोर्टी इंजन जनरेटिंग नॉमिनल ट्रस्ट एस वन थर्ट नाइन मोटर मिशन The deafening roar of GSLV and beautiful silhouette brightening the Sri Hari Kota sky. जहाँ अभी आपने देखा चारों L40 तथा four booster S139 का सफल प्रज्वलन और GSLV F16 का उत्थापन द्वितीय प्रमोचन मंच से और ये अपने गंतव्य की ओर बढ़ता हुआ हम यहाँ कंपन महसूर कर पा रहे हैं मिशन नियंत्रण केंद्र पर The first stage of GSLV with, with S139 solid core motor and four L40 liquid strap-ons thrusting together, 7,800 kilonewton cumulative thrust. First stage performance normal. Sharvan is in main auto. The day of launch Plus wind biasing program that is fed into the onboard computers helps the rocket to gear through the atmosphere auto. with minimal aerodynamic loads. Pratham Charan ka. S139 burnout. Plus four ka full prajalan kal lagbhag 150 second ka hoga. Cryo stage start authorized. Cryo stage performance normal. Speed of 528 kilometers. Shar and Trivandrum stations continue to extend telecoms to ensure the delicate boom and antenna unfold without damage or misalignment. The deployment will begin 10 days after launch and will be carried out over the next 8 days. Plus 12 minutes to prepare NISAR for science operations, in-orbit checkout, physical deployment of all deployable parts, checking out the engineering system. पृथ्वी की भूमि तथा बर्फ का अध्ययन करने के लिए सिंथेटिक अपर्चर रडार की क्षमताओं का उपयोग करते हुए माइक्रोवेव संकेतों को पृथ्वी में भेजता है. और फिर सतह के सही परिवर्तित संकेतों को प्राप्त कर थ्री चित्र तैयार जी हाँ जैसा अपेक्षित था जी इसकी पुष्टि हो चुकी है to announce that GSLV F16 vehicle has successfully and precisely injected the NASA ISRO synthetic aperture radar satellite NSR satellite weighing 2393 kg into its intended orbit let me congratulate all the teams from ISRO and NASA JPL on this outstanding success this is our 102nd launch from sri hari kota and the 18th mission of gslv as all of you may recall we had the previous gslv f15 mission on 29th january 2025 which was the 100th successful mission launched from sri hari kota and also the first launch after the new management including me took over as the chairman of isro this is the first gslv mission to the sun synchronous polar orbit till date all the gslv missions have been to gto being the first sspo mission several analysis and studies were carried out to make this mission a grand successful mission including the cryogenic upper stage corrections 
a host of mission simulations were carried out very systematically and meticulously and today's successful mission is accomplished all the vehicle system performance were quite normal as expected and as predicted and today we achieved the intended orbit actually we have got the orbit with a dispersion of less than 3 kilometers against as against the permissible level of 20 kilometers perij the specification is 742.742 kilometers we have got 740 kilometers apogee 745 kilometers is the specification we have got 747 kilometers and all the parameters are as expected and in the right line and this accomplishment is a teamwork culmination of the teamwork of both isro and jpl nasa the nasa satellite is a significant milestone for both department of space and nasa jpl being the first joint development project undertaken by the two major space faring nations nasa is an all weather day night imaging satellite that will scan the entire earth at 12 day interval the satellite integrates isro's s band synthetic aperture radar payload with nasa's l band sar payload and 12 meter unfurlable reflected antenna to become the first of its kind a dual frequency sar satellite nsr will enable the scientific community to detect the surface variations sea ice detection investigate natural hazards monitor soil moisture and many other applications the potential applications from this satellite are huge and the global scientific community is eagerly awaiting the satellite data for their respective research and usage the implementation arrangement between isro and nasa for a joint earth observation satellite mission was signed on 30th september 2014 between then it was signed by the then chairman isro secretary of department of space dr k radhakrishnan who is sitting in front of us and with the nasa administrator mr charles bolden in fact we were so happy to participate in that function which happened in toronto since then the realization of satellite in isro progressed steadily under the outstanding leadership of subsequent chairman sri kiran kumar sir who is also present in the audience dr k sivan dr somnath and also under different project directors on this occasion let me congratulate all of them also salute each and every one of the team members who have contributed for this significant achievement let me also congratulate all the technical teams administrative teams both in nasa jpl and isro who worked shoulder to shoulder to build the satellite at ur rao satellite center over the past so many years the nsr mission has brought the two space agencies much closer than ever before and the continuous interactions at various levels during the course of project execution has enriched both sides on behalf of department of space and isro let me thank the nasa jpl team and all other stakeholders in the project for their excellent contribution to the joint mission also congratulate them on the successful launch we wish the scientific community from both sides the exciting days ahead let me also congratulate the isro teams from sac urc vssc iasu iprc lpsc istrac and all the teams involved in the payload development satellite integration realization of solid liquid and cryogenic stages inertial systems and the launch vehicle itself let me take the opportunity to congratulate the chairman launch authorization board all the center directors who are with me it's a teamwork done by isro along with the nasa i express my heartfelt gratitude to the honorable prime minister sri narendra modi ji who was the minister of space has provided outstanding encouraging support for the entire project for its successful execution today also let me thank honorable minister of state dr jitendra singh ji and the pm officials pm officials who are working hand in hand with the department of space 
and all our family members entire team members of isro and the academia and it is industrial part uh, industrial participants who have contributed for this i think at this point of time it is a this success is demonstrating a teamwork a international teamwork between two space faring nations and surely this data is going to be highly useful for the scientific community of the globe and when the 12 every 12 day when the data is going to come it is not going to be used by one or two countries the entire globe is going to be benefit out of this great accomplishment and at this point once again let me congratulate all the team members our family members industrial partners academia team and the nasa team for the outstanding work